up, y'all? This is Aunt Lizzie and this is Bob Son TV. And make sure y'all like and subscribe. We live from the kitchen. I can do my videos on the go now, y'all. I appreciate it. Now y'all see them on the move, y'all get the channel. I'm about to go outside, man, as long as y'all know. I'm about to take the camera outside. I'm going to be outside. I'm just moving around, y'all. I'm just trying to get my mental together, y'all. One thing about when you get money, it ain't about how much money you got. It's about how your mental is when you got the money. That's how you keep it the longest. You get money. Without your mental, you will lose it all, y'all. I done had money, but I didn't have my mental together, and I lost money. I'm focusing on my mental and trying to get better with the money and turn the money into better things, learn as I go. I won't spend it until I learn the way to invest. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm on right now. But let's get into it. This is Kid Glizzy. Y'all don't know my little brother, Esco, a.k.a. He was Kid Glizzy back in the day, but uh, Esco. Esco, my little brother. This is the Esco story. So my little brother, right, growing up, me and my little brother ain't used to hang together because he used to, he used to be young. Like, he used to be young, and I was outside. And he used to come over on the weekends because he lived with his father. But this is my mother's son. This is my real little brother. So, long story short, he was trying to find himself as a kid as he coming up. He was trying to find himself. He used to do tattoos. He used to do a rock Like, he was just all over the place. He wasn't in the streets at all. Like, he ain't hopping in the streets. At, some say 17, 18. He ain't hop off the porch. He ain't been in the streets, did nothing. Trying to figure out what he gonna be, but y'all know the streets got the best of him. He was trying to take the street path, y'all. He was trying to be like a street guy. I guess he wanna live up to his his brothers, his big brothers' footsteps, but he hit the gas a little too hot. He skipped a brother. Like when he I say when he jumped off the porch, he got two brothers. I'm his big brother, and he got a brother that's bigger than me. He got a brother that's older than me. I got an older brother, and I'm the brother. I'm the in between the middle brother. And S go the little brother. Esco skipped me and went straight to Big Bruh status. Like, hit $200 to pass go. Like, once he got in the streets, it just was I'm getting a phone call about him every day. I swear to God. Every day somebody telling me something about him, this, that, and third. And it's like, you can't talk to him because you know when you first get in the streets and you feel your little, you feel yourself. So you can't really talk to him. I'm just trying to explain to him. First of all, I'm not trying to be the brother that's a bully trying to be over him. I'm not trying to show him that I'm more aggressive than him. I've been out here longer. I, I, I know a little bit more in my mind than you that'll trick you at this time. So it's like, I ain't even trying to prove that point to him. I just want you to know, like, I'm with you in the streets. Even if you're in the streets, I don't want you to be here. I'm with you. I'm in the streets at this time. I'm, in, I'm with you. And whatever you with, I'm with. You feel what I'm saying? Right or wrong. Even if I don't want to be with it, bro. Long story short, I end up becoming an Glizzy. I'm rapping. I'm making a couple of dollars. I probably say like $26,000, $27,000. I got $27,000 at this time. That's the most money I ever had in my life at that time. I got 27 bands. So I'm just feeling myself. I'm saving that shit. I got that shit in the shoebox. I remember like yesterday. My little brother ended up catching a charge. In D.C., they put him on a box. Then he called like a Merlin charge. They put him on a box. He had two boxes on his leg. Now he got a DC box on his leg, on his left leg, and he got a Merlin box on his right leg. He got two house arrest boxes on at one time. One for GPS and one got a curfew. Merlin got the GPS, DC got the curfew. So he can't go outside anyway. For him to be on this Merlin box, he got to pay $500 a month. No, five, I take that back. He got to pay $500 a week, every week that he out of jail until he go to trial. It's my little brother. Y'all hitting the streets. He don't got no money. I got $27,000. How you think we did it? Let's get to the first scenario of it, though. He ended up getting locked up. Now when he locked up, he got to get a bond. I got to get him out of jail. I don't know what his bond is at the time, but I ended up putting like a couple thousand down getting him out. I needed two credit cards. I needed two credit cards, an ID, and some money. I had the money. I went and got two of my friends. They had like little debit cards, like a cash out card and something. They had two wild cards. Them Jones went through. They took them Jones. My mother put the signature on there. Boom. Little brother come home in two days. Like the next day of the process, two days he came home. Now he home, he got the $500 box on. Every week I'm paying this $500 box. I'm talking about every single week I'm paying it faithfully. It got to the point I'm down to like my last 3000 I'm like, bro, you got copped at that shit. We ran out of money. Like, you got to go to court. Like, your next court date, you got to tell them, like, nah, don't prolong it no more. Like, I'm taking a cop to that shit. I'm got to go to jail. Long story short, they turned this five years into, like, three or something like that. They turned to the something. He took it. He, he, took the, he, took the, he took the time. He ended up going to jail. And they ended up, I don't know what happened to D.C. shit. They ended up throwing this D.C. 
throwing, he ended up beating his DC charge. And he ended up getting a, not too much time off the Merlin charge. And he ended up going to jail. And he came back home. As he came back home from jail, we had conversations in jail. We argued in jail. Like, shit, I don't know. Like, he just was finding himself in life. He called out here, hearing stuff. They talking about big TV. We used to argue and all that. It's my little brother, y'all. I don't pay him no mind. Like, anything he do in this world does not apply to me. He don't know that. Like, I don't think you know the facts of being a big brother. Like, when you're a big brother and your little brother talking shit, like, the big brother don't don't take it. Like, I don't take it like every, everybody else take it. But I to look at you like my little brother. No matter what you do in this world, I'm going to look at you like my little brother. Because that's what you is, bro. I was you before you, bro. Everything you've been through or I done been through, or, bro. You feel me? We just led two different lives. So, long story short, he come home from jail. Man, that box was busting my ass, y'all. I owed it somebody else $500. Oh, yeah, I ain't tell y'all about that. I owed it my man 500 from the neighborhood. I loaned 500 from him. I ain't had no money. I was negative 500 plus the 500 I owed my man about the time he took that cop. Like, bro, yeah, took cop, I went down to zero cent. Like, then he went to jail. Then GQ ended up dying. Depression just hit, y'all. Everything just hit. My mother started tripping. My other brother was locked up. It's like I was dealing with a whole lot at that time. So, long story short, he ended up coming home. And as he come home, now he home, I changed my life while he was in jail. I ain't no street guy. I ain't been in the streets. I've been on YouTube time and I've been all that. I've been trying to preach it to him. And he, at first when he was home, he was listening a little bit. But now I think he get it. It's like, bro, we ain't on that. Ain't nobody standing on no blocks. Nobody on nothing. It's a way to be productive out here. It's a legal way to make money, bro. Just sit down and figure it out. Don't got to be no broke guy. You don't want, you don't want, her, you don't want nobody spending all their money. To help you, like you put me in a hole to help you. I would go in a hole to help you anytime, but let's go in a hole for something serious. You feel what I'm saying? Let's go in a hole because we wanted a business fifty thousand dollar loan and we fucked it up. You feel what I'm saying? Now we giving it to the people, bro. We giving it to the justice system. You feel what I'm saying? But he got it together now. For the most part, he listen. I just thank him. I make these videos though. If he gonna see this video, I thank him though. He listen. He a little bit more mature. And I can have a conversation with him now. At first, I used to couldn't even have a conversation with my brother. He's just so illiterate and just on that. I just let him be on that. But now I can have a conversation with him. Like, we can have productive conversations, bro. He see the bigger things in life. So that's what I want all y'all to do. Y'all ain't might got the big brother. But y'all still got me. I'm be y'all big brother to all the young guys in the street, bro. If y'all got any questions, DM me like, eh, bro, I'm in the streets. Like, tell me how I figure it out, bro. I give you some free game, bro. It ain't nothing. The streets is the only thing that's going to kill you or hurt you the fastest, bro. I swear to God, if you take the, it's only one thing you got to take to live longer and think or get more. Just one thing. If you're in the streets, stop being in the street, nigga. I swear to God, it's nothing else. You don't got to get no money. You don't got to do this. All that's going to fall in place. Leave the streets alone, bro. You're going to die or go to jail forever. I never seen nobody not die or go to jail in the streets. I never, it's no, never seen a billionaire out the streets. It's not going to happen. It's not possible, man. Enjoy yourself. Everybody ain't got a brother like Aunt Glizzy, though. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Ask him. Bob or something.